Party walls are built with the primary function to provide physical separation to adjoining homes and structural support to the roof. They can have either a solid construction or can be built with a cavity, which the majority of homes built since the 1930s have. It is estimated that there are 7.4 million existing party walls that have been built with a cavity across the UK's 24 million homes. Although these walls provide fire and acoustic separation to meet the requirements of relevant building regulations, the thermal performance of a party wall had not previously been considered. About 10 years ago, it was assumed that there was no heat loss into party walls. This was challenged in the Stamford Brook project, where some highly insulated properties were tested, and the heat loss into the mid-terrace properties was higher than that in the end-terrace properties. This was counter to expectation, and the research team from Leeds Beckett University only realised when they saw some party walls in construction, cavity might be actually funnelling heat to the outside. In fact, what they had discovered was a new heat loss mechanism called party wall bypass. The researchers, led by Professor Malcolm Bell, then proceeded to test their hypothesis and try and evaluate the scale of the heat loss. The technical team from Canalp Insulation became aware of this research and, along with other mineral wool manufacturers, approached Malcolm with the idea that filling the party wool cavities with mineral wool could prevent the heat loss and probably would have no effect on the acoustic performance of the walls. So, together, we designed a test program and proceeded to test our theory. This trial was highly successful and we were able to show that we could completely eliminate the heat loss from particle cavities by filling them with mineral wool. This heat loss costs approximately £465 million in wasted energy and 2.5 million tonnes of CO2 every single year. Building regulations for new build homes were changed to take account of part of wall bypass. Unfortunately, nothing was done to address the issue within millions of existing dwellings. Canalf Insulation and Leeds Beckett University commenced another trial, this time in existing buildings, where we tested the impact on heat loss and acoustic performance of retrofilling the walls with superfill party wall insulation. This trial was highly successful and confirmed all of the findings in new build were relevant to existing and we were able to convince government that there was a high level of heat loss in existing buildings and we were able to prevent this by insulating the party cavity wall. City West Housing Trust worked with Canal Insulation to help gather evidence which has since convinced the government that party wall heat loss should be included within energy calculations of existing homes. This also means that the measure can then be funded via the energy company obligation. My name's Roy Schwong. A sustainability coordinator from City West Housing Trust. We decided that there was a lot of work that we couldn't actually still do insulating our properties. So it, with Canuff Insulation and Bree and Deck, we were monitoring the fabric of the building and we found out that there was a lot of energy uh, efficiencies that we, we should be tackling. The main benefits would be lower energy bills, better health and well-being. And the bigger picture is if, if that's the case with, the with our customers, then our rents will hopefully be paid on time because they'll be in better health to wear. My name's Ian Booth, I'm a surveyor at Bridgewater Surveyors. In terms of checking for walls and the wall types, there's unfortunately very few clues that we can use externally, so we can't look at a house and say that has a party cavity wall. We'd certainly look at post-1950s housing, and that would be a good start, but mostly we'll be looking in the loft space. Obviously the party wall itself, we can't check the brick bond, which is the usual way to check for a cavity wall, because of course it's plastered. But if we go into the loft space, then we can see the brick bond exposed, and we can identify the wall type from that. So we're just checking the loft wall, and we're looking here to make sure we've got a cavity bond. So we're looking for the long faces on the brick, so if we can only see stretches, that indicates to us that we have a cavity wall rather than a solid wall. You can have some earlier wall types, where it might be a cavity wall beneath, and then converts into a solid wall. And in that case, we just need to check low down at the loft wall. We're looking at that transition point from the living areas to the loft wall. If there's a step, it's likely to be a cavity beneath with a solid wall on top. At the start of the program, we weren't really sure how many party cavity walls there were. Uh, we knew certainly uh, that most walls were solid in the pre-war period. We'd taken a look at a lot of those. So it's a question of looking at the housing stock, looking at that post-1950 stock, and we found out a great many of those were party cavity walls. And those were built simply because you had a better sound resistance with a party cavity wall rather than a solid wall. 
We've learned that art buildings are pretty unique, it's pretty eclectic stock what we have, but we need to be finding out more about the fabric of the building, which we have done with Deckwood uh, and Bray. We've monitored uh, over 12 months now, a full house monitoring. So we've monitored our houses and now we're at the point where we can offer to other housing associations or to other commercial businesses how to properly insulate homes. We learned during the project that there's probably around about 80% of walls after 1950 that will have a party cavity wall of some description. Um, from a surveyor's point of view, it's relatively simple. There's probably four different wall types. Providing the surveyor has a good knowledge of those four, they can identify these walls very easily indeed. To ensure the high quality installation of our systems, Knauf Insulation operates a highly demanding approval process of installers and the system and all the installers are certified by the British Board of Agriculture. Party wall insulation has been included as an energy efficiency measure in RDSAP, which means that energy performance certificates will be more accurate and party wall insulation qualifies for funding under ECA. This has been a highly detailed research and development project that has involved close cooperation from many parties. I am really proud to have played my part to ensure that we can stop heat loss from party walls in millions of homes and help to reduce fuel bills and fuel poverty. We are at the forefront of this insulation now and we are at the forefront of, of many others like brake ceilings and kennel insulation. The wealth of experience and advice we have, we can pass that over now to other housing associations as well as do the fitting out of the works itself.